What's going on guys? You're hanging with Hardy Tech. Welcome to a very, very much requested tutorial from you guys. Did I just say tutorial? I meant tutorial for from you guys on how to play Pokemon Boys Black and Volt White. And I've been wanting to do this for a long time and I'm finally doing it here today. And every everything you guys need will be in one one download link down in the description. Just one little link. Only 150 megabytes. So it's really small because overall, um, I think it, like it, once you take everything out of the RAR file, it's like 400 megabytes or something. So you, it's uh, very easy to download. You guys shouldn't have any problem doing that. And uh, all you'll need is WinRAR or some kind of extracting program because you guys will get this file right here. It is a RAR file and uh, you open it up and you'll have all this stuff. So you'll need some kind of... Um, WinRAR program to open this up. I will include a link to the WinRAR website down in the description. Completely free to use, so you guys don't have to worry about that. Uh, once you download everything, you will have uh, these four files right here. I include a Pokemon Black ROM, ROM a Pokemon White ROM, the uh, patching stuff for Pokemon Boys Black and Volt White, and No Cache GBA with No Cache Zoomer, which is my preferred emulator. So uh, here's all you got to do to patch it. What you want to do is open up the folder that says Pokemon Boys Black and Volt White. It doesn't even say Pokemon, but and go to the patching station. Now open up this file here, this folder that says Full Patch, and you'll see some stuff right here. So now you got to decide which version you want. Do you want Boys Black or Volt White? Today I'm going to be showing you guys Boys Black, but it's exactly the same for Volt White. So what you want to do is you want to take your the ROM you want to patch and drag it into this folder, just right there. Now, uh, whichever version you're doing, whether it be Boys Black or Volt White, you'll click uh, these little files right here. So if you're doing Boys Black, you'll click the one that says Boys Black Full. And if you're doing Volt White, you'll click the one that says Volt White Full. So all you have to do is double click on that to open it up. Let it patch. Don't do anything. Just let it sit there and do its thing. So we'll wait for that to get done. And boom, it'll say all done. Press any key to continue. So press any key. And you're done. You'll see your new Pokemon Boys Black full ROM in that folder. You can take it out of this folder. You can do whatever you want with it. You can even delete the uh, Pokemon Black ROM because you don't need that anymore because you have the new patched ROM. So the next thing you want to do is open up your No Cache GBA with Zoomer folder. Open it up and you'll see a lot of stuff. You definitely want to keep uh, all this stuff in the folder. <laughs> so I'm just telling you guys that now because uh, if you move like anything out of this folder, it can screw everything up. So be careful. Uh, pretty much all you want to do here is open this file it's called no cache zoomer. Open that up and you will get this. And then you're going to want to click on the no cache GBA file right there. And that'll sync the two together so that now when you use no cache zoomer, it'll automatically do that. You won't have to do that again. Now you just got to wait. Don't know why this is taking so long. Let's try opening it up again. Oh, there it is. Alright, so now you'll get this up here it says insert cartridge. What you want to go, you just want to go to wherever you saved the new ROM. I put it on my desktop, so I want to go to my desktop and open it up. Okay, so Pokemon Boys Black Full, you just want to open that. And you'll get this screen right here. The save data cannot be accessed. Please turn off the power and reinsert the game card. Now, don't worry though, so you want to go back to the Boys Black Volt White folder and you'll see this documentation here open that up and open this action replay codes file so you see this and if you pretty much all you need to do here is insert a cheat code so if you're doing boys black it'll be this first one the no cache gba fix code you will copy this and uh, or if you're doing volt white it will be right here no cache gba fix code for pokemon volt white and then you're going to want to go back to the emulator and you want to go to this no cache GBA utility and then cheats and uh, I already got three of them here for uh, that what I use but what you're going to do you want to click on add new you're going to paste the cheat code in here click on action replay DS and click on raw and then click OK you can give it a name if you want but you don't have to and then make sure to double click this box so that a check mark appears then all you have to do is press OK. Now if you go to File and Reset, 
got to give it a second slow because I have so many things running on my computer right now and then the ROM will start and uh, make sure that if you guys want to change the controls for no cache GBA just go to no cache GBA options control setting here you can set it however you want this is the settings I use right now feel free to use them or whatever you want to use doesn't matter just click OK and boom you are done it's that simple guys and there's my save file so uh, if you guys have any questions definitely leave some in the comments and I will get back to you as soon as possible hopefully I made this very very clear for you guys you shouldn't have any problems doing it uh, thank you for watching until next time I'm Hardy Tech Yo-Yo peace